Hello again and welcome back to the Little Melto channel. And what is this about the Makita clone warning over the Battelrelio, what we call it, in the bows? To start off with, it's spelled B A T T E R I O L, and of course, bows is spelled B O S S. Basically, I was looking for something else online. We'll give you a quick story. And I came across this yet again. And I looked at the figures on what it's saying, what it's got power. And I had seen it before, and it had, they're still stating that this has got the power that I'm going to read out to you in a bit. And this over here is the Makita. This is a scaffolder's gun across here, impact wrench, half inch drive. This is a quarter inch hex, and you can get this in half inch drive as well. <laughs> Have a close look at them while I read you the first set of specs out. Okay then. In first speed, 1000 RPM, 1500 impacts per minute, 180 newtons, or 1593 inch pounds. That's what it has in first. So now we'll go for second speed. Second speed, 1600 RPM. 2,000 impacts, 230 newton meters, or 2,035 inch pounds. Third speed, 2,200 RPM, or 2,800 impacts, 290 newton meters, or 292, sorry, 2,920 inch pounds. And now we can be 4 speed. Oh yeah, 4 speed. 4 speed. 2,700 RPM. 3,500 impacts. Or 330 newton meters. Or 3,097... I'll say that again. 3,097 inch pounds. Yes, that's what I did say that. Now if you notice, I stopped started and I gave him a little spin round. And you can clearly see up here, uh, no name. I think I got the impact with no name. Only fair of the man with no name. Well, I was got the impact with no name. Now this is a box it actually came in. Most of it is actually in Chinese. I actually got the BLR18B. And if you look, very similar between these as I spun them round. Even the controls on the front of them, I'll just go now, even the controls on the front are very, very similar. I'm sorry if the light's in your face on this one. It does stay on for about uh, 10 seconds and it'll switch off. The light on this one is actually particularly bright. Oh yeah, still it seems to be staying on. I am not know, it's off now. And the control functions are basically very the same. Although, the only real main one you get, because it's based on the scaffolder's gun, we'll get on to that in a minute, when you have it in reverse, and you have it switched on, it'll automatically stop once it stops impacting. Well, they both have this, and this also has this feature on it, because as I've said, it was basically designed as an impact wrench. And if you'd clearly notice as well, it is actually on a genuine Makita battery, and what's going on here. Well, Tommy Mace has done a lot of investigation because I've been busy all day today. I've been at back and forth through the community centre. And they followed a trail, if you like. And the only thing they can come up with is it goes eventually to a company in Hong Kong. And once we get to there, we always go stone dead. There is, you can't go any further forward for some unknown reason. Try to find out who actually owns the company after that and where it is. It's hard work. We don't even know if it's Japanese or Chinese. And the other thing is, why it works on the actual Makita battery is because apparently there is a license agreement that they can actually mount this onto the Makita battery and make it work. Now, that's like saying, let's take the Milwaukee and let's make a new tool and let's run it on the Milwaukee battery. And Milwaukee isn't going to let you do that. Probably DeWalt wouldn't let you do it either. Then again, you've got Hercules, so fine. Although the batteries are slightly different, I know, but well. Anyway, 
So as you can see, we, they didn't get any further forward today by looking. They, they just said, usual story, got as far as Hong Kong and I ended there. But they did state that there is a license agreement for this, for this tool. So who actually makes it then? That's the next problem. Because all the writing on the box is basically all Chinese, you cannot really tell where it actually comes from. It's very little English on it at all. And the instructions as well, they're a bit in the old vague side as well. And of course they're a lot in uh, whatever language it actually is, as you can see, and there's a bit of English. But the English only tells you basically what not to do with the impact. Even the instructions are very vague on them as well. They are absolutely useless. So is it an actual clone? This is the problem. What is, what actually is it? And has it got the power that they're stating? Well, I'm sorry, but as you can clearly see, it is kind of based on the Empire wrench. Free Makita here, the scaffolder's gun. I'll just read out now what it's sort of suitable for and I'll give you the weight. Bear unit is 1.24 kilograms. What it's suitable for, this was what they said in the comment section, if you like. Scaffolding. Oh, what a surprise. Automotive. Oh, again, what a surprise. Installation. Yeah, another little bit of a surprise. Again, I suppose you could say. Not really. Electrician. Oh, yeah, right, yep. Yeah. Oh, it does clearly stay at the bottom, plus carpenter. Then again, carpenters don't use great big powerful impacts. And this is a problem. It's an impact wrench. Impact wrenches are no actually good when it comes into wood. They lose quite a bit of power because of the friction of the wood. They hit different, you see. Still deliver quite a reasonable amount of power, but in wood, it is kind of slowed down. Because the way the normal impacts work is they've got this double tap thing inside them that makes them spin round and keep going, which gets past the friction, so I've been told anyway. And of course, being that this way out, you would think with this much power, it'd be able to take on the Milwaukee Gen 3. Well, I will show you a demonstration way, but I can't run them both together. Because one, my son doesn't want to get involved in it, because this thing hammers like heck. It's got a real violent hammer action on it. It keeps kicking off on the 180mm screws in the hard wood test. So I'll have to do them individually, which I will do. First of all, I think we should have a quick look and see how this thing performs. Just putting some screws in the wood. Let's say some uh, 6 by 100mm or the customary 12 gauge by 4 inch screws. So we'll get set up for that. Ah, uh, quick demonstration. Across here is your speed selector here. This is your mode selector. It only works if you have it in reverse. I'll put it in reverse now, it's not switched on. It should be switched on now. If I go on over there, it switches it off forward. That's so when you take the screws out, which I will give you a demonstration on, I'll leave it on actually. And now, as I said, that is your speed there. The battery is filled as you can see. And the battery is filled at the back as well. And of course, being a Makita clone, you have to pull this and you have to pull it back because if you don't, it goes too far in and it, uh, it's not seated right. So, full speed. Let's see what it's like. Oh, wow, that wasn't very good. Uh -huh. Screws like going squint. Hmm. I mean, it's got, plenty. it's got plenty of power to put these in, I must admit. Okay, let's try that mode. In reverse. As you can see, it sort of did stop them as they come out. But really, that's more designed for nuts on a scaffolding rather than screws and wood. Then again, if you're taking out screws in the automotive trade, then I suppose it is an advantage. 
Well, here comes lots of noise. Back on full speed again, and we're just going to push this 180 mil, which is just over seven inches by 12 gauge or six mil. Okay. Okay, remove this bit without switching the camera off so there's no higgle to piggle here. Cheating? No! The Milwaukee, it's not on full power. Guess what? It's only got three bars. What a shame. Okay, all ready. Well, which one was fast and had more power? I think I know which one won. You can decide amongst yourselves if you want, but I'm pretty sure I know which one that won, and I'm pretty sure you know which one won, and it wasn't even a full bar. Okay, build quality. Believe it or not, it is built got pretty well. I mean, there's a lot of similarities up around here. All this is around the same. It's roughly the same, even the back here, the pattern on the backs are roughly the same. The handle's definitely, it has a slightly wider handle, I think. Or maybe it's just because of rubber, fine. Your belt hook is left and right, you do get a belt hook with it. And battery you've got to get yourself. The control function in the front, pretty simple to be honest with. And more or less, it is just kind of a carbon copy of the Makita, except this is a quarter inch shut quarter inch chuck and of course you can get it with the half inch chuck as well which is impact. I will say this, even in steel I don't think it's going to deliver what they're stating that it delivers but who knows it might. I ain't got a torque wrench and I'm not going to play about with it. As far as I'm concerned it isn't producing the power as you clearly seen compared with the Milwaukee. Uh, so it's not got a sub, it's not, it's a Gen 2. This model is M18 FID2, okay, known as the Gen 3 for Milwaukee. You see? I mean, it just totally stonked that last test. So I'm not going to say it's rubbish. I would base this up about 180, maybe a bit higher than that, uh, maybe a 200 newtons, something like that, because it's an impact gun rather than an impact wrench, sorry, rather than an impact gun, like these. It's not producing the goods in wood, so it is lagging. It's not shoddy quality, it is actually quite good quality at the end of the day. I only paid £72 for this. Now you've got to think on something. If you're a Makita guy and you can get your hands, or you've got your hands on the batteries in a charger, this actually is pretty good for £72. It is good. I looked at some of the reviews online, what people said about it, and I'll agree. It's not shoddily built, it is quite robust, it will take the knocks. And for £72 as a replacement because you broke your other impact, then yeah, fine. And not only that, if you know somebody that's got some cheap Makita batteries and a charger to sell, it's worth all investing into this. I mean, you might pick up the whole lot, including battery and charger second hand and plus this you might pick up the whole lot for maybe 150 quid a couple of batteries and a charger and this i mean why not it's quite cheap and it actually does work i mean i've seen other impacts struggle doing that big 180 mil test at the hardwood this it didn't really struggle it was just a bit slower than what the uh, milwaukee was but that milwaukee's an animal anyway i mean it just is so, I'm not saying it's rubbish, I'm not saying it's garbage. It is a worthwhile buy, to be honest with you, even though it's a bit of a, how can I put it, a bit of a con on the actual uh, name of it. And do I think Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee, I was going to say, Makita have anything to do with this? I don't know, we can't find out. The, the, the whole trail just goes dead. 
All as we can find is they've got a license to stick this on the Makita body. So it's obvious that Makita is well up on this fact and have said, well, yeah, okay. Or is it one of these where Makita's trying experiments out? Maybe they're trying new electronics out. Or maybe they're trying a new brushless motor out. And what they've done is they've made a bit of a clone company like um, Hercules is like DeWalt. So maybe is it one of them companies? Just don't know. It's so hard to find out nowadays because they cover their tracks so damned well good. So that's the warning. The warning's on the power. You ain't getting what they're stating at the top end, which I've lost my book now, which I know it was 350 newtons. I don't know what it was in inch pounds. Was it 3,090 something inch pounds or something like? You ain't getting that out of it. You can forget it. You're not going to get that. But at least it is reasonable. And you've seen it here with the four inch screws. It was just throwing them in. So yeah, I would say if that's what you want to spend your money on, okay, but be warned. It hasn't got the power that you think you're going to get. Now, I think I've covered everything, so I think that's uh, us up to speed. So, I think it's time to say goodbye, and I can get on and get on with other things then. Okay, bye now, and thank you very much for watching.